Depression comes from that feeling that one will never get the approval, the confirmation, the affirmation of one's being from the other. And the woundedness of having felt not only unloved, but unworthy of love, that manifests as an inner agony and projects its own reiterations in ongoing relationships that succeed the traumatic imposition of that belief system. And so depression today, because of the nature of the pathologies of the family systems, is an epidemic. Nearly everyone is depressed and lonely and feeling abandoned in a world that is loveless and feeling that there is no one to trust, no one to be able to connect with, and no ability to connect because of one's own fear of opening up again and again being devastated by projective uh, missiles of non-love that are put into one by others who require a scapegoat. And so this fear of relationship has caused the hopelessness. There is no love on this plane. There is no possibility of relationship that is sustainable. And that illusion uh, of the romantic finding of one's other half uh, is, is so uh, palpably uh, sad for the ego that it must run away from itself from this unbearable affect of abandonment, depression, into kinds of jouissance like drug-taking, alcohol, all of the other ways in which one tries to forget one's having been cursed with lovelessness. And so that creates a kind of shadowy energy field that attracts even more depressive circumstances and scenarios to recur and one is trapped in a hell realm of darkness and of futility and hopelessness. But then there is also this realization that one's own ego is an imposter. It's unreal. Its feelings are unreal. It has designed itself to receive uh, approbation from the other rather than being true to itself. And therefore, it, its anxiety is its own lack of being, its lack of truth, its lack of essence. And yet it is afraid of letting go of this veil of imposterhood because it feels there is nothing behind it. And one would, in fact, die. One could do nothing else but commit suicide because of the unbearable emptiness. These are the phantasms that are occupying the unconscious mind, if not the conscious, of most egos today. And because of the traumas that are fixated patterns of thought and affect and behavior that are all linked in the unconscious, they produce a kind of ongoing repetition of the trauma at micro moments and macro scenarios that keep it from being able to escape the gravity of these two monstrous feelings of depression and anxiety and enter into a different kind of relationship to reality that enables detachment and disidentification and the realization that there is in fact something more but to get there one will have to be less one will have to be dead to the ego not the body, not the phenomenal plane, but to the ego's misunderstanding of that plane. And it's taking it for reality rather than the simulation that it is. Once it's free of that miscognition, then it is able to transcend the plane of illusion and realize again the omniscient, omnipresent, omniloving nature of God that is our real essence.